So there's a lot of mods in Minecraft that make Minecraft run better, add overpowered items, and even make the game completely different. But what about the most cursed mods in Minecraft? The mods that make Minecraft a little bit more cursed. So and that's right, in this video we're going to be adding the most cursed mods to Minecraft. But with that, subscribe and let's get on with number 10. And coming in at number 10, we have Old Walking by Technogamer. This essentially just brings back the walking animation from pre-alpha of Minecraft, which was, as you can see, kind of on the funky side. So if I just give myself a ridiculously high speed multiplier, you can see that's even crazier and that when I unshift, the arms just move super fast. And of course, the link is going to be in the description for this. All the mods will be linked in the description if you want to try them out. I have provided all the modern links. There's might be some that are also crazy that aren't a modernth, but I just did modernth for the ease of getting the credits for this video. Also, if you guys have any mods that you think I may have missed, please subscribe and comment if I miss any mods that would help me out a ton. But let's move on to the next mod, number 9. So, for number 9, we have Vein Miner by Mira Colex, and essentially what this does is it mines the entire vein of each ore that you mine. So, you just saw it with coal, let's try with some other ores. Like more coal, or let's go into a cave and more coal. There's also some copper here, and those can have pretty big veins, so that can probably be interesting if you find a large vein of copper. But let's try one to find one of those absolutely massive iron veins, since those are super cool, and I bet it mine a lot. So yeah, here we go. I found one. Let's see what it does. It mined a bunch. It didn't blow me away, but it still mined a lot, so that's really cool. This mod is a really cool mod. Again, highly recommend you check them all out. All linked in the description. You can see that I actually mined the ones down in, not just the surface level ores, but it went down and followed the vein. So yeah, that's it for number 9. Now, let's move on to number 8. So coming in at number 7, we got Leashable Players by Nightly. This is a pretty simple mod, and it's also pretty self-explanatory. This mod just allows you to leash players, so let's spawn in a player, let's do Alex. So now we got Alex, and let's put them in survival, and let's also give myself a leash. So now I have a lead, I can actually tow Alex behind me, and you can see it works really well. Now the only problem with this mod is when the leash breaks, it gives to Alex, not me. So if you're trying to tow an AFK friend, this could be difficult. And as you can see, this is going to definitely ruin a lot of friendships, but it's a super fun mod for trolling your friends. So. Let's move on to the next one at number 6. So at number 7 we got Diagonal Window Panes by Fuzz. This is a super cool mod which lets the window panes, you guessed it, be diagonal. So if I just place some window panes down here, you can see that I place one, that's normal. Place two, still normal. Place three, what the f So you can see that when there's a diagonal place for window pane to go, it is diagonal. And this is a super cool way to make Minecraft a little bit more immersive. It's not perfect as you can see. I think it's still trying to keep that Minecrafty feel, nor the collision, but it still looks really cool and provides a really cool vibe to the game. Really interesting mod. Okay, so you can see again, normal square. However, if I have it diagonally, I got a rotated square. That's cool. So with that, let's move on to the next mod at number six. So the next mod that we have is Victorian by Tech. It's a really cool mod that modifies how falling blocks actually fall. So as you can see, if I place this gravel here and try and follow it down, you can see it stretches out while it's falling. So this is a super cool mod that stretches gravel and other falling blocks. And it also, you'll see has a different feature that they do when they're falling. But let's just break this entire tower and see what that's gonna look like. Also, did you know you could do this with gravel? That's just such a cursed image. You gotta let it start falling first. As you can see, the blocks are now stretching outwards and they are accelerating. It looks like they're moving to mock infinity. It's crazy. You can now see it's almost done and the blocks are super thin and you can collect them all. It's super cool. So let's build something to launch them sideways. So as you can see here, I can launch them sideways by placing a obsidian piston and a slime block. I think it also looks cool while sitting in a bubble stream. And you can see that it does rotate, but then it vanishes. So you're wondering, what the heck? Where'd it go? Well, then you flip the lever and boom, there's the broken gravel. So it's really weird. So let's launch a bajillion. That looks really cool. You can see that some of them break and some of them make it all the way to the ocean. And then there's some of them that are still here. But when I retract this, some of them get pulled on the block. So this mod is a little glitchy, but it's still a super fun mod. Now, let's move on to the next mod. 
number five. So this is better multi-shot by Offset Monkey 538. It essentially lets you do multi-shot one, two. There's usually zero, one, and now there's two, three, four, and every number between there and zero, 255. Because this lets you have enchantment multi-shot levels above the vanilla game. So like right here, we have 50. Or maybe that was 10. This one's 50, so that's a lot of arrows. And as you can see, if I just launch these, that's 100. You can see that there's 100 arrows there. It literally looks like I shot a, an entire battalion. It's like an entire archer force shooting each other. There's so many arrows. And then there's 255. This one looks pretty cool, and I also am all the way shot. Quick charge five on this one, so it looks extra cool and can shoot extra fast. Also, picking up this many arrows is super duper 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 satisfying. And so this in view, it's so cool. So let's test out the firework multi shot. This is so this is me shooting them up. You can see that when they come back down, they create a really cool line. Which is super dense with arrows, and this would probably obliterate anything. But now let's test out the fireworks. I mean it this time. So there we go, that's the fireworks. There's so many, but let's see what all we can kill with them. So here's a wither. Let's see, can we kill it with the fires? Fireworks. A literal one shot, that is crazy. So we're gonna one shot the wither with fireworks. What about the ender dragon? Can we one shot the ender dragon with fireworks? Yes, we can. What about the warden? Can we one shot the warden with fireworks? Uh oh. Yes, we can, and we still technically missed. That is crazy. Now let's give myself maximum health in vanilla and see if we can one shot myself. Okay, so I am now at full health. Will it one shot me? Yes, it does. That is crazy. So that's better multi-shot. Now let's move on to number four. We're in the top four now. So coming in at number four, we got Slide by Jay Franny. Slide's a really interesting mod, but before we get into it, I have something to tell you. So let me increase my FOV real quick by opening up the settings menu. So let me just go to this FOV, drag it down a little bit, and now you may notice what Slide does. It lets me adjust all of my slide settings past their normal limits. As you can see, I can yank this up to literally insane things. This looks crazy. The funniest part is, randomly, it will actually be usable. Yep, there you go. It's well, kind of usable. It'll just go sort of usable for a little bit, and then bam. Completely impossible to see what's going on. Now let's move on to some other settings. Yeah. So we got like biome blend. I think I assume if you just turn that to three, it goes to negative three and just goes to three. So yeah, it looks like it turns it to three. And I assume a lot of things do this when I dry it negative, it just goes to the positive counterpart. I assume other stuff's gonna do that. Yeah, like if I dry it to zero, now it's at really zero. Die. So I assume if I drive my FPS to negative 60, I'm going to get, yeah, 60. That makes sense. Now let's change my glint speed to something that's obliterously crazy. So let's also crank up the distortion and glint speed and glint strength and see how that works. And also menu background blur. That's pretty interesting to look around. And remember, a lot of mods like Sodium that edit the settings, it breaks these. Yes, I did try. And yes, I am sure. So let's get something enchanted. So here we have an enchanted golden apple. This is the legit, literal god tier legendary enchanted golden apple. Since I have the glint strength and speed all the way the heck up, it is crazy. You can see that they're both pulled to the edge of my screen. Super fast glint speed and strength. However, when I eat it, I don't get this super fast glint speed and strength, but that'll make it kind of hard to see. Now, the last thing, let's try seeing what nausea does for you, since I've cranked that up too. So you can see it starts out pretty normal and then it gets kind of out of control. Now it's to the point where you can't even see what's going on anymore. This is absolutely crazy and then it's okay. So that is number four slide. Let's move on to number three. We're in the top three. Now. So this is a weather storm mod by Crackers. 
it adds essentially a wither storm, which is kind of like a wither, but cooler. So first up, we got phase one right here. Now we got phase two. It has an eye that kind of beams and sees stuff. Super cool. Phase three. Now it's a little bit bigger. And then we got phase four. Now it's even bigger. And then we got phase five. Now it's huge. So now let's go kill the big thing. So here it is in its maximum phase. You can see it's absolutely gargantuan now. But let's kill this thing. We can use a special type of bomb called the Fermita Bomb or something like that to kill it. So let's do that. Light it up and blow it up. So now you can see it's being picked up by the Wither Storm to Ray thing. And then it's going to explode and we'll move on to the next crazy cursed mod. Three, two, one, zero, kablooey. And you also get flashbanged when this bomb explodes because, you know, why not? So yeah, Cracker's Weather Star mod. This is a really cool mod because it is really customizable, really thought out, and really well done. After a while, the flashbang does end as it does seem like it's kind of unending right now. But yeah, you can now see the Wither Storm has fallen and is dead. I'm not sure how to get rid of it, but that's the Wither Storm mod. Let's move on to the second mod. So here we have the Man from the Fog Reimagined by Zenith. So you see if I can scroll down all the way through this menu, you'll see that I will find the different summoning commands for each of the mobs in this. Most of them don't have spawn eggs, but... Here we go, we got the man, so let's summon him in. That is weird, since he's not really moving, but I bet if I take his spawn egg, spawn another one, yeah, they don't move. I assume if I go into survival, though, they will move, so let's try that. Let's give myself a sword, though. So, let's see, can I damage them? I don't seem to be able to damage them, so that's actually really weird. So, yeah, let's try going into survival mode and see what happens. Oh jeez, oh my god, that is, that would be very scary to just play in survival mode. You got this trippy blue-green effect type thing, where it is weird and trippy. And then during the day, as you can see, you can't actually spawn them, so that's Man from the Fog. Now, let's move on to first place. So in first place we have From the Fog. This is a super cool mod that recreates Herobrine in Minecraft, and you can see that if I can run this command here, it's called creeping. You can see that it says creeping mechanic spawns here behind, behind the player when it's executed on. Oh, yeah, do you see that? Run the back. So you can see, yeah, if I slow it down, you can see him. He's right there and he goes behind a tree and then he vanishes. So there's a lot of things. And here's another one. It's nightmare. So if I set it to night and sleep, as you can see, there's a lot of text on my screen right now, but you can see that the sky goes dark and Hero Brian appears. I don't really think you can see it around the text, but it does that super interesting. Let's check out another. It appears that he started placing structures since I did not place that mossy cobblestone thing, so I guess Hero Brian can now break structures. That's super cool. And lastly, we got some commands that we can use to spawn a fake Hero Brian. So if I go admin and fake Hero Brian, I can say create right here. It spawns a fake hero, Brian. So that's really it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. It really helps me out a lot. Please subscribe, as that also helps me out a lot. And yeah, you can use animations, because why not? I don't know why they added this, but thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.